Hello everybody. Hello. Well, we're here on the boat, but also at the same time in our new home. Or our new base. For yeah. the time being. We've only gone and got ourselves a mooring, a permanent mooring. But we're not going to be here permanently. We've had thank you to all the people that have sent us messages about moorings or pieces of land that they found for us to buy, which we would have done if we'd found something perfect. But there's always a little bit of a risk to buying a bit of land, yeah, isn't there? Yeah. It's sometimes even if a land has mooring rights, they can be taken away. So you could spend quite a bit of money on a piece of land that you own and not be allowed to moor there. Yeah, we had considered buying a, a mooring down in Cambridgeshire, yeah. uh, near to where Deb and Mark are from Well Deck Diaries. But we weren't, wouldn't have been allowed to grow anything there, put a shed up even. So uh, that was too much of a risk to do, wasn't it? So, And anyway, by hook and by crook, I was, as usual, speaking to everybody that went past the boat or came near us. And we just happened to be in the right place at the right time. And we found ourselves this little mooring spot. There's a couple of moorings free here. We've got one of them. We've got the nicest pitch, I think, out we of think. The, out the few of them which means we can do a bit of gardening here and we can put a shed up for the bike and for a few tools, etc., and uh, have a place where we can be. It doesn't mean we're going to stop cruising. We're still cruising. We came back yesterday from a five day uh, cruise, which we're going to show you after this. But it just means that we can do what we've wanted to do for the last year or two, actually do a bit of gardening. And it's been great here, hasn't it? Just sitting yeah. here, watching the birds. We put a couple of feeders up for the birds, watching them coming and going and just pottering around, planning the garden. We've done a few things already, a uh, couple of raised beds, haven't we? And yeah. put some deck down here. We've got so many seeds growing. The back of the boat has turned into a greenhouse and we've got so much growing. It's interesting when we cruise at the moment because it all has to get moved around. <laughs> yeah. um, but we're going to keep it very, very simple. We're not going crazy, but no. it does mean that we can have some fresh homegrown vegetables which we've been really missing yeah, our salad yeah. plants and herbs and I think it also means that during the summer we've got a little bit more time to get to know the area around us and do some proper foraging because I'm already getting to know what's growing where around and you might have more time to do some artwork and then I know that come winter we're going to get itchy feet in the autumn where we can't garden we're going to want to go yeah. cruising, aren't yeah. we? Yeah, <laughs> Proper we are. cruising. <laughs> We've already been looking at the map as possibilities where to go uh, in the autumn. But that also depends upon what CRT are going to close down during for winter repair. Yeah. So we're going to have to work our way around that. We can't plan anything. We'll just have to wait till August and then yeah. see, you know, whether we go down. Bit, well, we will go further south because mm. we can't go any further north, really. Not than much, here. no. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, it's it's a new chapter in, isn't it, in our uh, it in is. our boat life? Yeah, it, it, it's not the end of anything. It's the new beginning, and we're here in beautiful Yorkshire. The countryside around us is absolutely stunning, and we're going to take you along with us when we go on our jaunts. And um, it's it's just going to be even better than it has been, isn't it, for us? You know, it's, we're quite we're away so from any town. We've got quite a walk to go and get any shopping or anything. So we're probably going to go cruising when we want to do shopping. Yeah, yeah. Um, but also there's really good bus and train facilities all around us. We're definitely not going to get a car. We're not interested in having a car. Um, but we can do some fabulous train trips out, can't we? Yeah. And days out, lots of walking, lots of exploring. We've got all the moors and the hills around us. Yeah. Um, so there's so much to do. And so we're so excited about the whole thing, aren't we? We are indeed. There's no <laughs> pub nearby. No. There's no shop nearby, no supermarket nearby. No. The nearest, The nearest facility is a garden centre, which is two miles away. Uh, there is a shop in the next town, which is also two miles away. Yeah. So, yeah, we're quite pleased. We love the remoteness of it all. Yeah. Um, so we're really looking forward to showing you what we've got. Yeah. And we'll do that during the course of uh, the next few weeks during the summer. We'll show you what we're doing. The old expression, the sun don't shine on a sleeping dog's ass. <laughs> well, we've already started doing bits and bobs. We've been here three weeks now, have we? I think, yeah, about yeah, three, that. Just three on weeks off, today, yeah. I think, actually. Yeah. But in that time, we've been off and done two cruises. So we've spent half the time here and half the time out on the cut still. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's great. We're and really, it, it's really nice. Happy. The last cruise we did was four or five days. And already 
But after three weeks being here, more or less, we were ready to get moving, weren't we? We were ready to go out and sleep yeah. somewhere different for yeah, the night. We were. And, you know, we could still go and spend a couple of days in town when we want to, or we can go and spend a couple of days more remote where there's nobody around us. I just can't think that it could be any better. And our lovely bow is still our home. We didn't want to go back to a house, no. did we? We weren't, we weren't, I don't know if we'll ever be ready for that, but we certainly weren't now, were we? Not at all. Um, so we're keeping our lovely home. We've got a little bit of garden. We can cruise when we want. I just don't know what could be better. But it's not a perfect little site. There's a path runs through it so a couple of other boaters can get to their boats beyond us. But that's not a problem. The yeah. people here are all really nice. They're really welcoming. Yeah. And um, Nothing in life is perfect, no. is it? Unless, you know, it isn't. So you have to... We've got so many advantages and the only disadvantage is that there's people walking through our little plot. Um, but as you say... That's fine. Yeah, we've been mithering a lot, haven't we, the last year about what's the future going to hold? What should we do? Should we buy a flat? Should we buy a house? Should we buy a bit of woodland to visit every now and again? Do we sell the boat? But this seems to tick all the boxes, doesn't yeah. it? And it's, actually, we've just relaxed. As soon as we got this site, we just completely relaxed, didn't we? And uh, yeah, and I know that it's down. you know there's always a little bit of uncertainty. The farmer that owns the land is a tenant farmer. So in theory, things could change, but these moorings have been here for 20 years at, at least. least. Yeah. Um, and we know that there's no immediate sign of change. So really, you just have to forget worrying too mm. much about the future. For now, everything is just right. And we're paying, just paying monthly. So if at any point we did decide to, to move or we found something different, we can just go. Up, but, up sticks and go, yeah. You know. So anyway, we've just, we just, we just paid for three months just to get a feel for it. And at the end of three months, if it's not for us, we'll carry on cruising. Yeah. Um, but initial, our initial response, I think, is we're really happy here, isn't it? Well, we've yeah. been and bought ourselves a fire pit and we've got, we're <laughs> building raised beds and yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to be going anywhere anywhere soon. No, it there. doesn't. It really doesn't. No. But we've, as I said, we've been for a cruise. Uh, here's some video of that cruise. We're going to show you the garden on our next video and what we've done. And uh, as we go through the summer, we'll show you what's going on, what's happening in the garden. Yeah, you can watch us walks. as we learn to garden again, but in a tiny space. It's a bit different. Our last garden was huge and we could spread everything out. And mm. now we've got a little space. With cows. And we've got, a, we've got cows. and <laughs> Yeah. So we've got to be very careful and plan carefully and grow carefully. And if you're interested in what we're growing and uh, vegetable growing and plant growing, we'll be showing you that as well as everything else. I think it's going to have challenges that we haven't had in gardening before because there's a hare that comes bobbing along the path yeah. most mornings. There's some ducks that like yeah. to come waddling up and down the path here. Uh, so I think everything we grow is going to have to have uh, some sort of shield around it, if you like, cover around it to stop them nibbling. Um, but and if you see, sorry, if you see me keep looking at, we've got bird feeder outside and the birds are going forward yeah. continually. I keep getting distracted and I'm sorry. <laughs> Doesn't take much, believe me. So that's our brilliant news. We hope yeah. you're happy as we are for yeah. us. So we're just so, so pleased that uh, all our worrying and mithering over the last year has come to an end and we're just really, really content. And as far as the channel is going, I, I think it's there's just going to be more material for us mm. to share. Um, and there will still be cruising, and it's just our life. It's our lifestyle, isn't it? I've even got out on my bike a few times as well, haven't I? You have. Got backwards and forwards yes. to the And uh, I shop. might even get a bike. When we get a little bike shed done, I might even get back on the bike as well. It's a bit hilly round here, though, yeah, so I don't hilly. know. Stick to the towpath, it's flat. <laughs> and, and we're definitely not going down the electric bike route yet. No. We're not ready for that. Well, so. these, well these guns are still working. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, I've got a dog's hair to cut because Archie is very shaggy and he's getting very wet and muddy when he goes out. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go and cut a dog's hair. <laughs> no, have fun. I'm going to edit this. say goodbye to our moorings for a few days and uh, just got three locks to do today we need to fill up with diesel uh, get a bit of shopping 
and uh, visit a garden centre so pick up some compost and some seeds and stuff that we need and we're also uh, going to a town called Folridge and a lot of these towns and villages around here are not pronounced the way they're spelt it's spelt Foulridge but uh, I'm reliably informed by locals it's Folridge and Barnoldswick is not Barnoldswick it's Barnoldswick so I have been told in the comments thank you very much it has been really cold these last few weeks spring just has not got into the swing of it and uh, it's barely got into double figures the temperature in centigrade and um, most days it's been about six or seven degrees so it's been pretty cool with a northerly wind as well but we're hoping spring will get going and we'll have some sun and warmth Fran's bringing up the rear with Archie she's uh, gonna walk him to the locks and poor little Jess she's slowed right down lately and uh, hangs off at the back when we go for walks limping so we took her to the vets the other day and they gave her a good examination and she's basically getting stiff joints she's with age and uh, they've given her some medication which hopefully will ease the pain and uh, loosen her up a bit so I think when we go for our long walks it'll be Jess gonna have to stay behind and just the three of us go which is a shame but she doesn't mind, she curls up in a ball on the sofa and has a snooze, no doubt. Well, the leaves on the hawthorn trees are just about coming out now, bringing a bit of green to the hedgerows. Um, we're used to that coming out at the beginning of April. It's uh, so late here, but we are a, lot, a long way up north than we ever have been. And also, we're pretty high up here, some 150 metres above sea level. So it's uh, a different prospect altogether. Enjoying your walk, Fran? Lovely. lovely. It's lovely. Is it lovely? Well, we're cruising up Greenberfield Locks with another boat so it makes life a bit easier and gives friends someone to chat to. So we're well and truly spoilt today not only have we got another boat to do the locks with we've got a lock keeper on duty as well so I'm pretty much redundant at the moment. of trying to cruise when you're growing plants and vegetables. These normally sit on the back deck and on the roof underneath the pram hood um, to protect them but at night and when we're cruising we're bringing them in. It's so cold still at night and these are delicate fuchsias so we need to protect the shoots. Richard's got a dahlia growing in here and all sorts of lovely stuff and even on the other side of the kitchen We've still got seed trays, so I can't even make a cup of coffee at the moment, but it will all be worth it. This 
visitor mooring that we've stopped at has got planters all along the water point um, with herbs and vegetables growing in it. So I've taken the liberty of just taking a few cuttings of the mint. There's loads of it there and they're not going to miss it. So I've just pinched pieces off about this long, taking off all the bottom leaves and I'm just popping them in water and they will root beautifully. There were two kinds of mint. I think that one is more of a peppermint, but this little one is a spearmint. It absolutely smells gorgeous. So I'm hoping within about a week or so they'll have roots, they can go into pots, and then we'll find somewhere on the mooring for them, and maybe an even a little pot on the roof for while we're traveling. Very happy. Would that be for your gin and tonic? Maybe. Peppermint tea I was thinking of, actually. <laughs> but we're now, going to go to a garden centre just up the road and it's one of the big excitements for us because for ages we've not dared go into garden centres and nurseries we get too much we want to buy everything well we can buy a few things now can't we yep you want more dahlias dahlias yeah and i want broad beans <laughs> let's see if we can find what we want There's all these lovely things that we still can't have. Let's get a house. <laughs> Imperata cylindrica, apparently. It's beautiful, isn't it? It is lovely, isn't it? It's stunning. Can we have that too? No. How much do you think we can grow on our 15 foot wide plot, Fran? Not enough. <laughs> Used to Beautiful. be. Dicentra spectabilis. Yeah, it still is. Oh, actually. is it? Oh, they actually yes. have changed the name. We've gone back that. into the dark ages. <laughs> Beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. And there's a white one there. What a fab garden centre. Oh look, we missed that. Look at that white plant over there, angel's wings. Look at that. Senecchio. I think it's horrible. <laughs> We're having a few debates about what's horrible and what's gorgeous. <laughs> well, I'm gorgeous. I'm horrible then. That doesn't work. <laughs> Salterfirth on our little cruise to Folridge. We've been here uh, at the Anchor Inn now for a couple of days or so and we need to move on. Just a, a mile or two today but apparently the scenery is stunning ahead of us but it is absolutely peeing down uh, again. Uh, it's not been a good spring at all but uh, it's got to be done so coat on, hat on and uh, off we go. Can't see too much through the rain mist. Well, here we are at Folridge Tunnel. We wasn't expecting to have to go through the tunnel. We were going to moor up just before, but all the positions are occupied, so we can't moor up anywhere. So we're going to go through and hope there's somewhere on the other side. So we've got to wait three quarters of an hour because we've missed the slot. It's a traffic light system and to go through from this side, it's on the hour to 10 past the hour. So uh, time to get the kettle on.
it, Fran? I don't think we've picked the best day to come to a garden, but it, it's an amazing um, walled herb vegetable garden. I just love it. I could stay here all day, even in the rain. There's at the Pendle Heritage Centre. And uh, it's wonderful, isn't it? So the Pendle Heritage Museum is well worth a look at if you're in the area. Um, there's a lot of information inside, isn't there? Lots and lots and lots of reading. Interesting about the Pendle witches. That's what I really wanted to find out about, but there's, a, there's history of the whole area. Mm. There's so much more, so much information in here. But uh, the garden is the highlight for us. It was absolutely yeah, fabulous, wasn't it? So we're going to pop back again later in the year to see what it looks like in the summer. But uh, it's a rotten old day, isn't it? <laughs> we had to come today. Tomorrow is bank holiday when the weather's better, but it's closed. So, yeah. it, and then we want to get back to the boat. So, but you know, we can come back another day, can't we? But if you're passing... Like he isn't. <laughs> it's, uh, I think, a good place. And the restaurant or cafe looks fab as well, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, we haven't so. tested it, but uh, yeah, it looks good. Right, come on, let's go. Are we it's going in wet. the steps of Wesley now? Yeah. Into the pub? John Wesley. John Wesley went... Preach on the bridge here at Boroughford. And he was running away from people that were attacking him and he ended up in the White Bear pub which we might do now. <laughs> You're going to attack me then. <laughs>